So I'm finally getting around to uh, working on this DC conversion again. And on the past video, you can see um, I was thinking it was the bridge rectifier that, that went out. Uh, I got about two, maybe three welds out of it, and it just quit. So, uh, and what I did, you can see here the wiring, I just spliced it back into the factory um, to the factory wiring here it just goes straight and it and it works so I know it was something um, on what I added here and at first I was thinking well maybe it's this huge capacitor maybe it's overkill or um, I'm pretty sure it's the bridge rectifier um, when I take it off I can uh, check the diodes and see if they're you know just blown or what but what I did I went and got slightly larger um, oh, here we go um, this one was rated at a hundred amps this one I'm about to replace it is uh, rated at 150 amps so you know maybe it, it gives me a little more headway um, you know maybe the the surge when it was on max power you just overloaded it but uh, I'll try the 150 amp rectifier and if it goes out again uh, then I'll look elsewhere mainly uh, probably the capacitor there um, so let's get it changed Okay, so made some progress. You see, I got rid of the the old rectifier at the 100 amp one, and I mounted the 150 amp um, up under here. I had to rewire a bit, uh, but everything else went on as planned. So one thing I did, oh, the new the 150 amp uh, rectifier did not have a heat sink on it, heat sink on it like this one did. So now it looks kind of messy right now, but uh, I'm going to put another mounting hole here for the for the new rectifier. And these are where the holes I had drilled before. Uh, for clearance holes and mounting that rectifier on and I decided to go ahead and cut that out this is just for a test fit right now but because uh, I'm dying to go out there and test the weld but I found a uh, this little bitty heat sink that came off a processor um, but it looks like it'll fit right on at least I have something so I'm gonna clean that up a bit um, put some compound on there, thermal compound, and uh, and attach it to the to the rectifier there. So I'll have some kind of heat sink. Um, if it's not enough, I'll either uh, find another heat sink, or I'll probably just put a little fan up here or something. Um, but everything else is on there. Uh, the capacitor's there. There's the coil. If you want to see uh, what I did previously, definitely go look at the, the first video where it failed. And uh, But with this one, I'm going to take it out and, and do some welds, test it out, and see how long it lasts. Hopefully, that rectifier was the problem. So this is the test piece uh, that I've been using through through each stage of, of trying to uh, do this conversion I mean uh, some of them like right here and I know this is probably too thick uh, metal anyway but, uh, but you can see how terrible that was this is just from the factory um, it was just a mess uh, going around um, a couple of these, uh, I forget which one's which, I think like this one here, it started to do well and this is when I had the 100 amp uh, rectifier on it, 
but I only got a few little marks and poof it just start, it just quit um, now some of these were after I had uh, let's see when I hooked it back up and I put the 150 amp rectifier on it and it was still just splattering everywhere I was wondering what the hell was going on and I looked at it and found out that I had the negative going to the clamp it's like well I want DC electrode negative so I went rewired it so that uh, um, so it's electrode negative and uh, then I went on the bottom here and started getting some there's still a little splatter but uh, at least I'm starting to get some decent beads and um, with the 150 amp rectifiers not blowing it up so so now I'll try a more serious project on it but it looks like it's working um, you can also see from here uh, after I converted to DC even though it was still with the 100 amp at least you can tell it was getting hot here on the bottom um, when before no it wasn't um, so that's it I think that was the fix um, so when you're doing this get a 150 amp rectifier um, or it's not going to carry the load 100 amp is going to is just going to burn.